after like 15, 16, 17 hours of travel, we landed in Barcelona and now we are officially in Mallorca, which is an island off the coast of Spain. For those of you who didn't know that, because I don't even think I knew that like a couple months ago, but flew to Barcelona from New Jersey, stayed there for like two hours, took a little 30 minute flight from Barcelona to Mallorca, rented a car, came to the hotel, parked the car. Now we're here, I just had a little welcome drink and it is 3.30 PM, maybe down about five hours of broken sleep on the plane. It was an eight and a half hour flight. So, you know, a little tired, but you gotta make the most of it as you can see by these bags under the eyes, but got some nice jazz on. This is the hotel room and uh, we'll see what Mallorca has in store for us for the next few days. All right, quick little tour of the hotel room because this is adorable. Hotel Cappuccino for those of you who plan on going to Mallorca. All right, closet, as soon as you walk in here, slippers, all this stuff. Yeah, this good stuff right here. Coffee maker, Illy, you know the drill. I don't know what's in here. Oh, huh. mini fridge. Nice view, huh? Yeah. And then this over here is the whole room, bedroom. Andrana is staring out the window. And this is the, the beautiful bathroom here. Yeah, I guess you don't care about this. Like video. the tile work and this lovely view of the rooftop here. Which we will probably visit shortly. First things first, splinter out of my finger. Oh yeah, splinter out of her finger. First aid coming in hot. We officially finished our first day in Palma de Mallorca. Lovely. Well, I say first day, we've been here like, what, five or six hours? Yeah. Went to a banging restaurant. Awesome cocktail bar. I was gonna say banging again, but I stopped. Delicious. <laughs> Delicious cocktail gelateria. bar. Delicious gelateria. And now we're finally going home to get some sleep because like you know, when you travel to Europe overnight, you get like five hours of broken sleep and I'm running on fumes right now, so. We're going to go to bed at like 10 tonight, wake up refreshed, and have a busy day ahead of us tomorrow. And good morning from Palma. Good day morning. number two. Day number two, just had some coffee. We're doing some touristy stuff today. We are visiting the cathedral, which is also known as the Basilica. And very touristy over here. That's because it's a giant cruise ship. I can't see it, somewhere over there. They just dropped off a whole bunch of people. We're gonna check this place out. It's absolutely stunningly gorgeous today in every possible way. Am I wearing the same shirt today? 100%. <laughs> gonna show off our car for the week? So we are on the other side of Mallorca now. We are in, where are we? Port de Soyer, I believe is how you say it. Um, no idea where we are, in the mountain somewhere. I want to give you a quick tour of our car. Isn't it so cute? I've never driven a Mini before. Never seen a Mini, but somehow I fit into it. All right, off to the restaurant. Here's a little view of where we're going to be eating. Looks cute. It does look cute. Like I said, ripped around the Audi all the way back to Palma de Mallorca. And what are we doing now? Um, Our favorite thing to do? I'm gonna go find some cocktail bars. We have, it, hasn't been, it actually has been a while since we can both enjoy, you know, cocktails. enjoy cocktails since one of us is always driving if we're going out for cocktails. Like so. I just was. So now the car is parked, which means we can enjoy our cocktails walk to the hotel afterwards and not worry about a darn thing. So, also I smell the same cologne. I think the same, per everybody wears the same cologne. Thank to European scent. Yeah, it's a, they must all wear the same cologne. Anyways, cocktail bar, cute cocktail bar montage now. All right, 
It's 8.30 in the morning. You know what it's time for? Gym time, because we ate and drank a lot last night. So we have to work it off today so we can continue this bad eating the rest of the week. So, woke up, worked out, just went to a little coffee shop, and uh, today's our last day in Palma. So we're at this little breakfast spot. What's it called? Lisa and Boss. Lisa and Boss, something like that. And ordered some stuff, grabbed a little breakfast, and our plan is we're going to drive about 45 minutes east, east. southeast, and go to another beach where we're staying at an Airbnb. So we're switching it up a little bit, and I'll tell you why on the way over there. The reason I like to do an Airbnb is sometimes they are not in like touristy areas, which means you can kind of get away from all that stuff, see what the vibe is around like what the locals do, which is number one. Number two, kind of have all the comforts of home, like a washer and dryer, you know, iron. We usually have an iron though in a hotel. But nonetheless, three, they're usually less expensive. Four, a lot of times they're like right in the middle of good places where like locals go. And six, it's just nice to like- I think that's five, you know, babe. Five? Yeah. Five, it's just nice to kind of be away from things and like on your own and not with like a whole bunch of people in a hotel do like things just you like when you stay in a hotel you want to do things around the hotel but now that you go away from the hotel you kind of want to do things not so close to the hotel hopefully that makes sense does that make sense i think so i think so but basically what i'm trying to say is you prefer airbnbs for certain situations yeah so like for this island majorca we stay a little bit in palma which gave us access to the touristy areas of the city we also got to go to the west coast, which you saw last night. Then now we're going to the east side, which is, where are we going? I forgot. The Colonia or something like that. Uh, oh yeah, Colonia San Hortidus, something like that. That's what we're doing now, which is like the beach side. And we're gonna stay in Airbnb on the beach, which should be nice. And as soon as we get there, I'll show you the Airbnb. <music> So we just put in the Airbnb and uh, my lovely Andriana will give you a tour. Alrighty, so this is the indoor area, aka our bed. And I guess if we had a guest, they'd be sleeping there. Maybe. This is the toilet. Oh, well, toilet. And the shower. Beach towels, clutch. And then this is the outdoor area. This is our outdoor kitchen. Our table, our pool, our lounge chairs, and then the gorgeous view. And this, see this is what we come for. Okay, so another good reason that I love Airbnbs is that if you get one close to like a supermarket, a local supermarket, you can get all of your food supplies, like beer, wine, all that stuff. You can just yeah. keep it at your Airbnb in your refrigerator. And you don't have to spend like thousand dollars on drinks okay, that you would in the restaurant. Dollars. Not a thousand dollars, you know. What I mean. All right, so this is what we got for thirty euros: chocolate covered rice cakes. Rice cakes. <laughs> I've never tried this, but Andrea said I had to try these chocolate bars, so we know that. Chips, two bottles of rosé, two beers that were 60 cents or like 0.6 euros, grapes, sparkling water or agua con gas. So put this in the fridge, have everything for us, and we can just sit out here and uh, have a little drink, have a little snack, not have to go anywhere. That's why I like Airbnbs. So it is 8.45 in the morning. Didn't want to wake up this morning, but we wanted to check out these beaches because they're like legendary. And we just drove. We went and got coffee at a local place and a little croissant. And now, oh wait, what was it? Enciamada. Enciamada. And now we just came across this cove or Cala, Cala Lombards. And we had no idea where we were driving to, but well, I'll show you. actually forgot to, we wanted to go to this other place, Cala de Moro. De Moro. But it Super is. Super touristy. 
so touristy and you can't really swim in it because it's filled with like you have to just you have to hike down to it just for the photos instagram stuff but we just got here we're walking down these staircases and look at this look at this and we're walking down gotta relax on the beach because this is probably one of the prettiest things I've ever seen in my life. Might I add, by the way, that if you come out here, come at like 9 a.m. because literally nobody's here. Actually, come before 9 a.m. You'll have the whole place to yourself, minus this one couple over here. Just us and them. One thing I didn't show last night is we went to this restaurant in Ses Salinas. Did I show this? I don't think so, but this oh. is like the cutest village yeah. town, whatever you want to call it. I love cutest it. Cutest area. So we, we drive through here to get to the beach and uh, we ate at this adorable restaurant last night, which I'll post a picture. Casai. We have like a bunch of sister restaurants as well as we just found out that they have like an Airbnb that if I ever came back, I would definitely stay in that yeah. little Airbnb. It looks sick. And uh, so now we're going to grab another espresso because oh, here it is, huh? we woke up pretty early. Oh yeah, here, let me show you here. This is the adorable restaurant we ate at last night. And a nice green color, like the, like the rest of the town. And we're going to grab a coffee first and then uh, head back home for lunch. Can we stop in the shop after? Yeah. We also didn't um, videotape the little, we found the most delicious bakery this morning that we had. Oh yeah. That delicious, I know we mentioned it before, Esmeralda. Esmeralda, um, delicious. But we're going to another local bakery. Maybe they'll have it here. Mm -hmm. Now that it's less windy over here. So remember the restaurant we showed you a second ago, the Casai, that was over the cute little green building? Well, now we're going to their like sister property or whatnot over here. Almost fell. <laughs> okay. So we're going to the uh, sister property over here, also called Casai, but it's like Casai Beach. What is it, beach what? House. Beach house, how did I forget that? And we'll see how that one is. All right. All so, right. <laughs> so I had a few cocktails at dinner. Oh wait, lunch. Hey, look how beautiful these succulents are. Oh wow, those are pretty. So we had a few cocktails at lunch, and now we're walking back. This is our last day in Mallorca. It also happens to be the last day- That I'll never 30. That Andreana is 30 years old because tomorrow is her birthday, and tomorrow we are traveling to Barcelona. I think it's called Barcelona. Barcelona, as the locals say. Enjoy the rest of the day on our balcony, maybe go to the beach, maybe nap, who knows. And Take in all Mallorca has to offer on our last day. Good morning. It is day, oh, I don't even know what day, but it's Angelina's 31st birthday. So she's going to be getting a lot of messages, <laughs> including her mom calling us from home. Yeah, it's like 2 And it's like 3 a.m. their time because we're doing breakfast right now, six <laughs> hours ahead of them. Are you sad? Yeah. Why? Because it's your birthday? Yeah. Say bye to Mallorca. Bye. Look how pretty this apartment is, by the way. So nice. Alright, back to our spot. Shoot. Say goodbye to the mini. Bye. So this is a sad day. Well, it's not really that sad because it's Andriana's, or as some people hate when I say her name correctly, Andriana's 31st birthday. 
but we are leaving Mallorca and heading to Barcelona this morning. It's 11 o'clock. We have to drop this rental car off at the airport, get on a plane, which is like, again, 30 minutes or so to Barcelona, so not too bad. She's driving the rest of her stuff up there right now and uh, heading to the airport. Aww. All right, so we uh, dropped off the rental car. We are waiting for our flight to Barcelona, but I found that we have lounge access here, so now we gotta chill in the lounge, eat some food, and uh, drink some drinks, and wait for our flight. Delays on delays. All right, yet another beautiful hotel here. The Kempton Hotel La Vivadora in Barcelona. They come equipped with strawberries, chocolate covered strawberries that we absolutely demolished in two seconds. And of course, a little champagne on ice to celebrate the birthday girl who is in there. Hey. So as you know, we're in Barcelona now and we had to chalk off all the touristy things on day one because this girl loves to knock off all these off the bucket list so that we say we saw them. So as you know, we have to cross everything off the bucket list just so that we say we saw everything while we're here. So the first two hours, we literally put our stuff in the hotel, sprinted out the door to see all the sites before we hit dinner tonight. So I might as well show you this iconic La Sagrada Familia, is that right? La Sagrada. La Sagrada Familia. Familia. For those of you who have been here, have seen it before, for those of you who haven't, there it is. Way bigger than I thought it was gonna be. All right, by the way, this is the hotel we're staying at, La Viva Dora. And uh, it's in a good location, it's central, a little touristy. But uh, anytime you go to a big city, most of the time, we're going to be in a touristy location. Well, I That's think not too the, bad. the second time you come back, you're like, oh, you leave out all the places. Yeah, but like, they, oh, I'm gonna, not going to stay here next time. I'm going to stay here. Yeah, but they do have a lot of sneaker shops, which I'm going to go into this one right here, right now. This is one good thing about small European cities is traffic jams. As the street's only big enough for one car. A little restaurant on the side of the street. Small. That's it. We're full. We are officially full. We are going to go shopping. See what kind of stores they got. I think they pretty much have every store ever here. So go shopping. Oh yeah, some more wine. Maybe a little more coffee. And go to dinner later. We'll see. You know, it's really hard to continue to vlog when I just enjoy the moment <laughs> because we're just sitting up here on the rooftop of our hotel, looking at the cathedral, which we didn't go see today, having some Aperol spritzes, which and sangria. I've already finished some sangria and uh, just relaxing. COVID tests. Oh. Of course, yeah, we have someone coming here to give us a COVID test because you still have to get a COVID test within 24 hours of coming back to the US. And I'm starting to think this is just some huge racket because it's a little ridiculous. You have to spend all this money to take a COVID test before going back to the US. It's really, it's really odd. And the pharmacies here don't have the correct COVID test. So there's only certain places where you could actually get a COVID test. And that entails either a doctor coming to your hotel or going to a clinic that's a 20 minute Uber ride from where we are. So we opted for someone coming to our hotel, which obviously costs more money, but those are your two options. And this is what you have to do. I don't know for how long now that you have to travel back to the US. So we'll see, I don't know. I'm not a complainer, but it's just a little peculiar how every time, every country has a different you always have to spend like $100 for COVID to be back to the US. I wonder how long they're gonna do it. Oh well, we will enjoy our drinks on the rooftop until then. So we just got our COVID test and 
the person who did a COVID test happens to follow Dr. Shalini on Instagram. So, this is Dr. Shalini. Wait, I never got your name. Yeah, Eloy. 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 The man, the COVID man. 